Hey, what's up everyone? HippoTC here back with another video. This time we are going to focus on the question on how do you steal an Athena? How do you steal treasure in Sea of Thieves? And I think it can be broken down into one thing and that is timing. It is all about timing and understanding when the best time to steal the treasure is. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're going to review some of the clips that I've been able to pull off some pretty crazy steals but when i go back and kind of watch this footage it does remind me of one thing i picked the perfect timing to go for the steal and i think that's why i'm excited about this video i'm going to just break it down for you step by step so if you do like this video really quickly i would love it if you could hit that like button comment down below and hell hit the subscribe button while you're at it with that being said let's jump into the footage so we're going to start this clip right at the moment I'm boarding a ship and we can kind of jump into the approach on a ship to kind of stay stealthy and all of that here in another video. But in this video, I just want to talk about timing. So I was on the ladder for a second, listening to when the people were moving around the ship, just trying to determine if there was anybody at the top of the ladder. I didn't hear anybody, so we decided to move up. I then repositioned so I could see the loot a little bit better. And this is when I decided to make my move. I saw the chest of legends put down on the ship and three of their crew members decided to jump off. It was in this moment I was waiting for them to harpoon treasure because there's this kind of in between when someone harpoons a treasure solo, grabs the treasure off the harpoon, that they're not really paying attention to what's around them. It's in that moment that I ran across the ship using the mast to kind of cover my escape and able to yoink the Athena. And it really is that simple. Now, here's another clip of me doing the same exact thing at another Fort of the Damned. Again, I'm waiting on the ladder, listening to see if I see anybody or hear anybody moving around. In this instance, I didn't even see the guy on the cannon, but I think he was just AFK, just chilling there. And we make it into the captain's quarter. Now we're just waiting, waiting for our perfect moment. Now, this particular crew was stacking, so they had multiple chests of legends so using the mass and the timing thing that i'm really kind of trying to emphasize here we are slowly moving our way further up the ship to kind of hide our approach to get closer to that chest and we see one of the chests of legends and i'm going to have my crewmate washi if you guys don't know who washi is check him out on twitch he's awesome i'm going to have my crewmate washi yoink the first athena and i'm going to wait for the next one but this person really isn't paying attention and what i really wanted to demonstrate in this video is it's all about timing and using player behavior to your advantage like i've shared before people on the harpoon don't super pay attention and they kind of get blinded by the treasures so if you can use those moments where they're grabbing the piece of treasure, dropping it, and, and then getting back onto the harpoon, you can kind of move around their ship and get into position to yoink the Athena. We were both able to get really close and able to see kind of what was going on. So we know they have one more that they have not yet harpooned. So right here, I tell Washi, grab that chest of legends while they're distracted on the harpoon get it out of here and i wait a little bit longer for the second one so let's watch washi go ahead and wait for that timing that i'm talking about and go for it all right i think they just dropped the other chest yeah i i think you go for it washi be brave be brave Take it to the back. So right there, we were just watching this person. It looked like they went AFK for a second. So he just went for the steal. Got that chest of legends out of there and yoinked it. Now they were still AFK a little bit longer, but I they hadn't yet harpooned the other chest of legends. So I moved closer to the treasure and they finally came back and they harpooned the chest. So this is kind of critical. This is what I want to point out right here. Timing of it. I'm gonna wait for them to put the chest of legends down, get back on the harpoon, and while they're kind of getting distracted with treasure, I'm going to grab the chest of legends. In this case, I actually grabbed the wrong item, and with their back still turned to me, grabbed the chest of legends and jumped off. And honestly, people are very blind, but you have to kind of use that player behavior that I've been talking about to your advantage. They were distracted. They weren't super paying attention to their surroundings. And I find this pretty typical of people on the harpoon. And you just use that to your advantage and steal the treasure. 
it's that simple so if i could say one thing about treasure stealing in sea of thieves about trying to get that chest of legends that you're after trying to yoink that bad boy it's all about timing 